So I actually brought flutes from Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull and also from uh, the band The Chieftains. So I had a 200-year-old Irish flute and also a, a tin whistle. And, and, then the, and then once you get up there, you want to share this. You want to show everybody that it's, a, it's, a, it's just a place that some people happen to be lucky enough to live in, and I'm one of them. And so I, I did want to find a way to share it, and Mr. Anderson came up with this way to play a duet together. And the occasion was the 50th anniversary of human spaceflight when it just turned out on that very day he was playing a concert in Russia. There's a lot of experiments that involve us understanding what happens to people. One of the really exciting ones to me personally is uh, experiments in osteoporosis. So up there in space, we lose bone mass about 10 times the rate of your average osteoporotic woman. And so because we tend to have very few medical complications, we make pretty convenient test subjects. And I myself was a test subject to understand you know, what happens when you lose bone like that and how do we prevent it. And in fact, I came back with uh, literally no bone loss. We're still diagnosing that it looks very positive that everything floats. And, and that can be nice. I mean, I can move a thousand pound rack of equipment by myself and push it across the space station and put it in a new place. But if I want to open up a little sort of suitcase and take out one thing out of 30, and it's at the bottom. So that part is inconvenient, especially for somebody like me who could lose the TV remote maybe twice in an evening. You know, that's a challenge of the environment. But you know, that floating around part, it's not floating, it's flying. And somebody like me that was never the gymnastic queen in uh, you know, high school can do all of those things and more. And it's just really wonderful to fly.